Welcome back everybody. Okay, I hope you've all been looking after your Roombas. If you don't look after your Roombas, as I said last time, it'll end up like this. So I hope you're all doing the right thing. Right, I've got my helpers here today. I've got Robot here. How are you, Robot? But we're here today to look at uh, this brush deck module, um, or the CHM. We'll move the video around to the back here. Okay, you know how to remove this. There's four screws, one, two, three, four, and then it just lifts out nicely. Rightio, let's have a look at this. We'll flip it over. Here we have this red dot that I, I talked about in the last video. Um, here you'll see that it isn't doing the job. It's um, the cables come out. Okay, so this cable is used um, for when you go over carpet and the, the brush deck um, module has to adjust the height, this cable is used. Um, so you can see sometimes that red dot comes off like it has now. Okay, so what you do is we'll come back to that and how you fix that up. But what I'm going to do is now is, is explain a bit about how you can clean this and do some maintenance. So all you do is you can just do that and open, open her up. Okay, here we have a few things you may not have seen before. And um, we have the, the brush deck motor, um, the brush deck uh, motor gearbox, um, and also another gearbox in here. To remove it, it's very simple. There's two screws here. One, two. I've removed one already. Just one thing, when you decide to put it all back together, you've got to make sure that when you put it back together that that tab there is um, above this little tab here. So you don't want that to be below, you want it to be just like it is now, okay? Right now, let's remove this second screw. Okay, when you remove that, um, this whole motor assembly comes out like so, okay. Um, now you've got uh, three screws here, one, two, three, I've already removed two of them, I'll remove this one. This comes off, um, you've got a little gear here, um, there's other two screws here, one, two, I've removed them, and then this thing just pulls off. And that um, then um, reveals the motor. Um, I suggest here, you can see there's a lot of fluff and dirt. Um, I, I suggest getting a vacuum cleaner and sucking all that out just to give it a good clean. Um, I then would recommend spraying in there with some WD-40 contact cleaner just to give the motor a good clean out. Rightio. So then, when you've given that a good clean, you can put all this back together. You can clean the gear if it's dirty. Um, the best grease is a bit of white lithium grease, not too much, just smear it on the gears. Rightio. So you can just put that back together quite easily. That goes on there like so. And then um, this only goes on one way. Um, there's a little tab here, um, which must go um, on that hole there. And then it just, you can feel it sort of slot in. Then you do your screws up and away you go. Rightio. Let's just leave that aside for the minute. Let's have a look at this gearbox here. This gearbox is held in by one, two, three, four, five, six screws. Keep it, um, some of the screws are a bit smaller, so keep a, a note of which screws go where. I'll just remove this gearbox now, and we'll have a look what's inside. You really need to have a look at this gearbox because it often gets full of dirt, and that will make it a lot noisier, and it'll also uh, wear the gears. So here I pulled the I pulled the gearbox out. We can then remove the cover here, and you can see how filthy it is. So this is not good for anything. It's not good for the gears or the dirt. It's going to be they're going to be grinding. It's going to be noisy, um, and um, yeah, it's not good for the life of anything. What I suggest is that you remove all the gears, and you give it a really good clean. Um, I just use a, a toothbrush um, with some detergent. Um, the end result here. I'll remove all the all these um, you know I really recommend giving this a good clean and uh, here's one I prepared earlier and you can see that it's looking like new rightio so you, you do have to put some some grease um, on the gears just my recommend just smearing the grease the smearing the, the gears with some white lithium grease you can get um, but you don't want to cake the whole, um, all the all the gaps here. Just put it on all the on the all the gears. Um, just smear it on. Okay. Then when you put it all back together, 
um, it should run a lot a lot quieter and and last a lot longer okay so now let's put it all back together it's quite it's not too difficult we'll leave the gears out just so we'll put one gear back are we filming there yes we are good okay we'll put the gears back on it's good radio we'll put one screw back in like so just to show you okay we'll put this back on oh, that's the wrong one um, that's the right one okay so here that just goes in like that um, and we'll put one screw in here like so okay oh, it's fallen out just borrow this screwdriver thanks robot Okay, there we go, we'll tighten that up. Rightio, so now we're gonna put this back together, okay? So here, I haven't tightened that one up, but you'll get the gist. So here, you see that tab? That there's gotta be on top of it, like so, okay? Like that. Now, um, here, you've gotta also make sure that when you put this back in, that it fits in this groove here, okay? So here, I'll make sure that it, that it looks like that, that's good. Pull that deck cable out of the way. See here, that's right there. Okay, now I've got to put my screws back in. There's two screws here. Okay, I'll just tighten one of them up. Okay, and I'll put this back in. Like that. And I'll just put one screw in here. Like so. Okay, so we've cleaned everything. That's all now. Now we'll come back to this brush deck cable, okay? So here you can see it here. Um, it's got to come from uh, below, like, like you can see, through this little gap here and sit in that little hole there, okay? Like so. Okay, now we've lost that red dot. The red dot, red dot, red dot, sorry, is useless. So we get some electrical tape, just like this. And all you do is, this is what I do, I just put it like that over the hole so it doesn't pop out. And there we go. And that'll never come out. Okay, so there you have it. Your CHM is all um, is all maintained. I also recommend giving this a good clean. Um, this sensor here is uh, the dirt detect sensor. I wouldn't recommend removing it and trying to clean it. Um, I would just use some contact cleaner with a toothbrush to sort of give that a good clean. Uh, but it's quite fragile if you actually try to remove the sensor. Right, I hope you've uh, got something out of this this video, and if you, I'll, I'll be posting some more videos on maintaining some of the other motors and also troubleshooting the Roomba with a laptop. Thanks for watching.